Yeah, it's our heat here in California. Temperatures triple digits pretty much uh, throughout the area here in the valley. 102 degrees currently at the Executive Airport in Sacramento as we take a live look here at the downtown. West wind blowing at six miles per hour, not giving much in the way of any kind of relief. It'd be nice if it was a cooler breeze. 100 degrees currently in Stockton with sunny skies and a northwest wind blowing at 13 miles per hour. And how are things looking in Modesto? Well, it's plenty sunny. We have 103 degrees currently with a northwest wind blowing at 12 miles per hour. And Fairfield currently 97 degrees. Southwest wind blowing at 17 miles per hour. Again, not much influence from the uh, Bay Area, but we do have at least a little bit of cool down. Again, if you're going to be heading to the west, that's the place to be to feel some relief from the heat. Currently, Lake Tahoe, though, 81 degrees with sunny skies and a light breeze on the south shore. So temperatures, let's take a look at some of the numbers. Woodland, so far today, high temperature, 104 degrees. Rockland has gotten up to 105. Vacaville, 103. Manteca, 105 degrees. And Keys, 103 degrees. The temperature is running a bit warmer than we were yesterday. And this is a trend we're going to see continue over the next couple of days. So your satellite view shows a little bit of cloud cover well to the south. Here we are through the Central Valley and across Northern California, mostly sunny to sunny skies. Maybe a few high thin clouds again over Plumas County and points to the north. But that's about it as this ridge just continues to dominate our weather pattern. Throughout the southwest and across California, lots of triple digit heat is going to remain. In fact, like I said, it's going to intensify a little bit more. Not a lot, but just a little bit more. We're looking at at least a degree to two degrees warmer for Monday on into Tuesday as well. That's when we should see our heat peaking. Still going to stay in the triple digits through Wednesday as well as uh, on into Thursday. But finally, we see this start to sag a little bit farther south as we move into Friday as a weak weather system pushes into the Pacific Northwest. It's going to open the door, give us a little bit more of a delta breeze, and finally help to drop temperatures more likely into the mid to low 90s past Friday and on into next weekend. And that's about where we should be for this time of year. So there some, is some relief down the road, but we're going to have to wait until next weekend for it to get here. Temperatures for tomorrow, your forecast high at Lake Tahoe, 84 degrees, 87 in Truckee, plenty of heat in Quincy with a 96 degrees. Pollock Pines getting close to 90. And Arnold, you'll be warming up to 92 degrees. And how about these triple digits for Auburn, Angels Camp, and Sonora all up at or above the century mark? If you want to cool down, like I said, head to San Francisco. It's only going to be 73 degrees. Coastal areas also are going to stay fairly cool as there is a fairly thin marine layer, but enough to keep the coastal areas a little bit cooler than places a little bit further inland like Concord and Antioch with temperatures in the 90s. Fairfield also in, well into the mid-90s. 104 in Manteca, 105 Tracy, 104 in Turlock and Lodi. Forecast high of 103 degrees, 103 in Elk Grove, 105 in Woodland, 104 in Marysville and Roseville. Could see a daytime high of 107 degrees. We continue with the heat again Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Look at these temperatures up over 105 degrees through Wednesday, and then we see temperature of 100 degrees by Thursday. So we start a little bit of a relief from that heat, and then we drop off into the mid to low 90s by Friday and on into next weekend. Okay, Dirk.